Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn about hiding or displaying ribbon buttons in Dynamics CRM 365. So, don't take a break. Watch continue at the end of the video. Let's start with introduction. In any software product, the aspect of security perhaps plays the most important part. In Microsoft Dynamics 365, Customer Engagement 2, the developers must ensure that there are no security breaches when it comes to making configurations and customizations. In this video, we are going to learn how a CE developer can hide or display a ribbon button depending on what the entity privileges are in the security roles assigned to the signed-in user. Next check, real-time scenario. There needs to be a custom ribbon button on the case main form labeled under review, on click of which the status of the case record gets updated to reviewing. But this button must be visible to only those users who have a right privilege to the case entity in any of their assigned security roles. For others, the button must be kept hidden. The prerequisites for development. The first is a valid dynamics. 365 CRM instance. The second is Ribbon Workbench. To create and edit our custom ribbon buttons, you can download the latest version from the official website as I have mentioned here. Let's understand the steps for implementation. First is sign in to your D365 C instance as a system administrator and create a new JavaScript web resource to add as a command to our custom button. Copy the following JS code to your web resource. Here, mentioned code you can follow for JS code to you your web resource. Second step is add a custom button labeled under review on the case entity's main form in the ribbon workbench. Add the created JS web resource as the command to this button. After giving a command you can see the result same as the mentioned image. Third step is add a display rule to the command wherein we specify that the button would be visible only to the users with at least one assigned security role having the right privilege to the incident entity. Refer to the image as I have mentioned here. Now, understand unit testing of implementation. First step is open a case record as a system administrator. You must be able to see our button. Second step is navigate to the admin center and create a dummy user. Third step is create a custom security role that has only read entity privilege, not write, to the case entity. Fourth is assign the security role created above to the dummy user. Note, to allow the dummy user to successfully log in, we assign one more basic security role like common data service user, having no privilege to the case entity. The fifth step is finally, log in to see as the dummy user and verify if our custom button under research is hidden. Here, we comprehensively learned in this video how we can hide or display a ribbon button based on the signed-in user's cyber security consulting services privileges without having to write any code. See you in my next video. Take care and stay safe. If you have any query, feels free to contact us. Our email ID info at agesoftech.com our contact number plus 919824172020. Our address Royal Square, first floor, office number 110, near Shilp Tower, Tagore Road, Rajkot 360001, Gujarat, India. Thanks for watching our channel and please subscribe for new videos.